Hi, today I'd like to demonstrate the termination of our LMR 240 cable with our EZ series of connectors. We have a number of EZ spring finger contact connectors to be used with this cable. We have an N male straight, a TNC male straight, an SMA male straight, SMA male right angle, QMA straight male, and a QMA male right angle. We also have a number of strip tools, easy strip tools, that are designed to be used with this cable. A one-step stripping tool, a deburr tool, DBT-02 deburr tool. The first step in the termination process is to get a nice, square, clean cut on the cable. In order to do that, we'll use the CCT-01 cable cutting tool. We place the cable into the cradle of the tool, and take the stainless steel blade and apply pressure on a stainless steel blade and turn, spin the tool around the cable. As you're spinning the tool around the cable, the tool scribe through the jacket, scribe through the braid, and scribe the center conductor, and what we'll do is make a nice clean cut, square cut to the cable without crushing the cable. That's the first step in the process. Next, we'll take the ST-240 stripping tool. It's a one-step tool, one-step process. There's an arrow on the tool that shows you the direction that the cable should be placed into the tool. There's a slot, cable slot. Place the cable into the cable slot, slide it into the slot until it stops. At that point, release the spring, let the spring clamp down, the tool clamp down on the cable. Place your finger into the loop at the end of the handle. Spin the handle four or five, six times around the cable. Grab onto the tool. Remove the material. You now have exposed center conductor and exposed braid. You strip the center conductor back just the perfect amount for the for the connector. You've also taken the jacket material off the, the cable without nicking the braid, which is very important in terms of tensile pull strength. You can use a knife, but you have to be very careful. This tool allows you to, to take that jacket off without nicking the braid. Next step in the termination process. You take your DBT-02 deburr tool. Now this tool can be used by hand or it can be used with a cordless screwdriver or a cordless drill. Place the tool over the center conductor, apply a little bit of pressure, just a back and forth motion, half a dozen to a dozen back uh, rotations. And what you've done is you've taken all the burrs. I'm sure it might be very difficult to see in this video but you've taken the burrs, you've put in a slight chamfer onto that center conductor. And that is very important with these particular connectors. These are spring finger connectors, beryllium copper spring fingers. And the, the center contact is going to slide over the center conductor of the cable. So you want to remove those burrs off that center conductor. Very important. What we have here is an easy 240 TNC mail. First, next step, we'll take our adhesive lined atom shrink boot, 3 to 1 ratio shrink boot, slide it over the cable, take our crimp ferrule, slide that over the cable, take the braid and just gently fold the braid back away from the outer conductor. The outer conductor is an aluminum mylar, aluminum composite tape and cigarette wrapped around the core. And before you put that connector on, it's very good practice just look at the face of that dielectric. You want to make sure there's nothing there, a stray braid, or uh, some, of the, some of the outer connector may have been smeared across the face. And it should not be. That's one of the, the uh, values of using this tool. It'll make a nice, clean cut, and it'll give you very good performance at high frequency. But again, it's just good practice. You may have a dull blade. You never know, but it's just good practice to do that. Take the connector. Gently, now this is a very important part, getting it started over the outer conductor. Just spin a little bit, make sure you got a good start, you're not ripping into the outer conductor. Just push it gently and turn it gently. You get to a point where you just kind of feel it stop. At that point, the beryllium copper spring finger is just making contact with the center conductor of the cable. Give it a little extra push. Those are those fingers sliding over the center conductor of the cable. Take that ferrule. Push the ferrule all the way up to the back of the connector. You'll see a little bit of exposed braid. At that point,
You want to take a pair of scissors, preferably stainless steel scissors, and just trim back that excess braid. You don't want to overdo it, just the amount of braid that would have been sticking beyond the end of the ferrule there. Make sure the connector's on all the way, push that ferrule back up to the back of the connector. Now you want to take a crimp tool. In this case, we have our CT-300-400 crimp tool. Basically, what you want with this connector is a 255 crimp die. And you want to crimp it up as close to the connector as possible. So you make sure that ferrule is all the way against the back of the connector. You make sure the die is all the way against the back of the connector. Crimp all the way. Remove the tool. Now you're going to see there's a little bit of flare here in the back of the ferrule. You want to leave that. You don't want to crimp it twice. You crimp it twice, you're going to crush the back, that, that jacket. The jacket's got nowhere to go. It's going to crush the dielectric. You're going to form an impedance issue uniformity. You're going to see high return loss, high VSWR. So you want to leave that little piece of uh, flared out ferrule. You take your adhesive lined atom shrink boot, you bring it all the way up to the back of the coupling nut. At this point, you want to apply a heat source, butane, electric, hot air gun, but you want to heat that until it shrinks down and you see a little lip of adhesive protruding out of each end of the shrink boot. At that point, you're done.